joined by Kunlun Red Star forward Michael Letta. Mike, thanks so much for coming to Good to be here. Us. Yeah, good to be here. Okay, so let's start with your experience of hockey in China so far. What did you expect coming in, and what has been your experience? Yeah, I know I knew a lot of guys on the team, so I kind of had a, a, little, a little bit of a feeler coming in. But I mean, it's been awesome uh, when you get a. You know, hockey, hockey takes you takes you a lot of places in life, I and mean, when you get to go live in Shanghai and, and just travel the world and you know see some cool things, it's, uh, it's it's been pretty cool. I'm happy I did it. Why did you choose the KHL when you moved over from the NHL? Uh, you know, I was kind of you know I, back uh, last couple of years in the minors, so I was just looking for something new. Uh, KHL is obviously the second best league in in, in the in the world outside of uh, outside the NHL, so I was just looking for a new challenge, and uh, you know I had some good buddies on this team, like I said, so I just. Uh, Looking for a good change and uh, happy I did it again. And aside from the obvious, like the size of the rink, what are some of the differences that you've noticed in KHL versus NHL play? Um, I'd say the game's a lot slower um, in, in more controlled. I'd say not slower so much, but more controlled, which is fun. You know, it's not so much chip and chase and forward tag, you know, a lot of skilled players. So uh, that's been an adjustment too. And uh, other than that, you know, hockey's hockey, but, but I think just the controlling the play, the, the speed of the game slowed down a little bit. It's a little more skilled, so uh, it's been it's been a, a fun adjustment for sure. Does the slower play let you be a little bit more creative, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, kind of my role over, over in North America was a little bit uh, uh, dummy down, I guess you could say. So you know, it's been fun to come over here and, uh, you know, pick up, uh, show my skills a bit. Let's talk a little bit about that time in North America. You obviously were in that Caps locker room, your yeah. Stanley Cup champions. What was it like? Yeah, that was awesome. I was so happy for those guys. Uh, you know, the, the changeover from when I was there a few years ago to, to uh, when they won, it was, the core was still there. A lot of the guys were still there. So that was, uh, you know, I remember watching. I was in Washington actually when they, uh, a week after they won. So, uh, you know, just talking to the guys, they had a great experience. And, you know, I was so happy they kind of, uh, Got over the hump and did, did did good there, so really happy for those guys. And what was it like being under Ovechkin's leadership? <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a beauty. So it, it was <laughs> it, it was a blast. Yeah. yeah, he's probably the most uh, pure guy in hockey as far as um, you know not not you know not being shy away from the camera and the media and stuff and just being who he is. So it's uh, it's fun to to look up to, look up to a guy like that who just uh, is, is himself. And then lastly, obviously you've moved to China. Right now you're in Shanghai, soon you'll be in Beijing. Any interesting culture shock stories you can share with us? Well, I don't know. I mean, just the, I guess I guess the craziest things, just the crosswalks in, in Shanghai. Just uh, you know, you got to keep your head up because there's scooters coming one way, cars coming the other guy. So it's, it's uh, that that's probably the biggest thing. The food's uh, you know where we live is pretty westernized, so it's not too 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 much of a culture shock, but. Uh, you know, we've had some times where we got to do a bit more, uh, bit more exploring. So it'll be fun. All right, so that's good practical advice. Watch the crosswalk. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time Great. to chat, and thank you for tuning in. Cool.